In Gaza, the first hostages held by Hamas have been released during a temporary pause in the fighting. That includes 13 women and children who were freed in exchange for 39 prisoners held in Israel. Now, for more on the hostage release, we want to bring back in CBS News contributor Robert Berger. He's following all of this from Jerusalem. Thank you for joining us. Tell us what has happened since this morning. Where are the hostages and the prisoners now? Well, it all started with a ceasefire at 7 a.m. local time, midnight Eastern time. And then nine hours later, Hamas released 13 Israeli hostages from a two-year-old girl to an 85-year-old woman. And then a couple of hours later, the Red Cross drove them across the border, the, the Rafah border crossing into Egypt, and they were handed over to Israel. And right now, they're back uh, at an Israeli army base undergoing medical evaluation. And from there, they'll be taken to a couple of Israeli hospitals for further evaluation and to be reunited with their families. And of course, uh, in exchange, Israel is now releasing 39 Palestinian prisoners, including women and teenagers. Uh, Robert, when can we expect to see another round of hostage and prisoner exchanges between Israel and Hamas? I know it's just the first day, but has there been any sort of hint of on, a, on a timetable? Yeah, absolutely. Tomorrow. Okay. Uh, basically, the deal calls for the release of a, uh, of a total of 50 Israeli hostages in exchange for 150 Palestinian prisoners. And this is supposed to take place over the next four days during a ceasefire. So if all goes according to plan, tomorrow should look a lot like today. And then, in addition, Israel has said it's willing to extend the ceasefire uh, by another day if Hamas would release another 10 hostages. So that could actually continue for a few days if all goes well. And what do we know about the release of those 10 Thai nationals from Gaza? And since that's 10, does that mean another day? Not necessarily. Okay. They, it's, the, Thai, the Thai hostages are actually uh, an underreported part of this story. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of Thai uh, agricultural workers in southern Israel, and 26 were taken hostage on during the October 7th terrorist attack, and 39 were killed. Wow. So it's assumed that the rest of those hostages, of, uh, of those Thai hostages, about 14 will be released over the next few days, in addition to the Israeli hostages. Um, have both sides been respecting the terms of this temporary ceasefire? Because we know tensions are high and, and things like this are always fragile. It's definitely fragile, but it's almost surprising how well the ceasefire went. As I said, it went into effect at 7 a.m. local time. And the, the ceasefire, it worked immediately. And, and that's in contrast to the 50-day Gaza war um, back in 2014, when there were a lot of ceasefires that failed before the final one finally took hold. So I think it's a good sign for the, the coming days, even though um, some kind of violation could scuttle the whole thing. It seems that both sides are, are interested in going forward. But let's remember that this, Israel is call it, calling this a pause. Uh, this is a four-hour pause, maybe extended for a few days. but they say at the end of the ceasefire, they're going back to war to, de to destroy Hamas. This is day one of that ceasefire. And uh, Robert Berger, thank you for giving us this latest information from Jerusalem. Thank you. Thank you.